your first alert forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Another look at your first alert forecast. Welcoming back in meteorologist David Harker. I almost feel bad for people out watching high school football tonight because it was chilly outside. Man. Yeah, it sure was, and we'll wake up to some frost in the morning. So Ooh. if you're heading out a little bit early, get the scrapers ready mm -hmm. and maybe download that uh, weather app that will wake go. you up a little bit earlier uh, for any travel plans that you may have. Cold temperatures will hang around throughout the weekend, and the better chance of rain will come along with snow into next week. I know man. people don't want to hear that kind of word uh, as we look to the end of October, but. It's something that yeah. we should be seeing. I mean, it's yeah. mid-Michigan. Take a look at the Doppler radar this evening. Rain shower activity, it's already making its way out to the west, or I'm sorry, making its way out to the east from the west as it made its way through earlier this morning. For us, we're just going to be downright chilly. Be prepared for colder temperatures to come. High temperatures over the weekend back into the middle and upper 40s. Low temperatures, if not the freezing mark, a little bit below. So we'll see frost uh, at least for a good portion of the next uh, seven days. As we take a look at some of the temperatures out there right now, still sitting into the 40s, 43 degrees in the capital city, 42 in Mason and 40 degrees down in Jackson, even a 37 degree reading popping up in cold water at this hour. So the chilly temperatures are here to stay and it's all because of that cold front that drew in a lot of colder air from Canada. And you can even see the, on the other side of Lake Michigan, 30 degree temperatures and Green Bay, 36 in Madison, Wisconsin, and 36 out to the west in western Wisconsin as well. This again is all dealing with a cold front that's already made its way through. You see the rain shower activity in northern Ohio at this point. For us, we'll be clearing the sky. So as you make your way out tomorrow, bundle yourselves up. You'll need the jacket throughout the daytime for whatever events you may have planned. And maybe you're heading down to Eaton Rapids to check out the uh, all the Airstream trailers. I think that'd be pretty cool to see a lot of history with uh, some of those uh, airstreams. Nonetheless, looks like we'll continue to see the sunny skies. At least that'll help brighten the day, uh, no pun intended, Saturday, Sunday into Monday before our next system, which it could be the remnants of Sandy that will make its track closer to us. I'll talk about that in just a moment, but there's high pressure building in from the west as it does. We'll just see clear skies, but not a lot of warmth. Winds will still be out of the north, keeping our temperatures nice and chilly, a little bit below normal for what we should be seeing at this time of the year. Take a look at Hurricane Sandy, currently a uh, Category 1 hurricane, still making its track out of the Bahamas at this hour. Watch the track with this system. It'll move a little bit slower, and then it'll speed up and take that big jolt to the right, as you can see, uh, looks like by the early part of the week. Now, this system is expected to eventually become an extra tropical system and make its way into Pennsylvania. As you can see there on the graphic for us, we could see a little bit of the cloud cover and then wrap around of the cold temperatures and even some snow showers possible as this system stays on the eastern seaboard, but it's not going to be something we're going to have a direct hit with. We'll just have to deal with a little bit of rain and possibly changing the snow with those cold temperatures overnight tonight. We'll be back into the freezing mark. Looks like we'll be into the 40s for the remainder of the weekend. Low temperatures will still hang about into the 30s. Let's take a look at your overnight forecast. Partly cloudy skies out there. Frost is expected. 31 degrees in the capital city. You may vary by a degree or two in your area and north winds. They'll be light 3 to 8 miles per hour for the daytime tomorrow. 48 degrees for a temperature north winds 3 to 8 miles per hour. Still chilly outside and uh, this be good weather to have some chili. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. I had some tonight for dinner. Did you really? That Corn sounds bread really too. Ooh. Oh man, I was I was eating it up, man. Uh, I don't blame Ooh. you. Maybe you can make some at home or just soup or anything to keep you warm. 40 degree temperatures, no 50s, mind you, in the next seven days. Freezing temperatures to come. A lot of plans uh, that you could make this weekend. We'll talk about some of those events coming up in just a little bit. I'm telling you, I had a bunch of cornbread too. It was like the cornbread that wasn't too sweet but not too salty. It was like right in the middle. Oh man, it was. You should have brought some in. Hey, I had a whole thing, man. It's gone now. Uh, Sorry, buddy. Maybe next time. Thanks, David.